I'm Ryan Lightfoot Brown, Research Analyst at Chelsea Financial Services. We're joined today by Richard Penny from Legal in General, who runs the Special Situations and the UK Alpha Trust. Hi, Richard. Hello. We last saw you about a year ago, just after the US election, where you said interest rates and inflation should stay low. Has your view changed at all with that? Um, I think the most important of those is interest rates, and I think interest rates have gone up in the US. In the UK, we've seen a, a small change, a small increase. I think given the importance of housing in the UK market and the 18 month delay that can happen between an interest rate rise and you know any response from the economy, I don't think we're going to get quick or excessive movements in the UK. Maybe another quarter of a percent or maybe even a half percent over the next 18 months, but not more than that. Okay. And your special situations fund has is very concentrated. Um, at the moment, you've got a high overweight to industrials and a large underweight to consumer goods. Um, could you talk us through these things and how they fit in with that view? Yeah, so it is a concentrated fund, but we don't we don't have to own the big, uh, large positions within the UK stock market. And the consumer staples are those. We think that they are low growth and pretty expensive for that. So that's why we're underweight in the consumer staples, the Unilevers and the Diageos. Uh, the industrial sector is not a homogenous sector. It's uh, four or five stocks that we really like, and we're happy to put four to five percent of the fund in. So we like uh, names like uh, Wizz Air, there, which is in transportation, which is um, based in Eastern Europe. We like Melrose, which is a management story. But these are not really correlated, so it's not really a, uh, a conscious, uh, decided view to be overweight industrials. It just comes from a bottom-up stock-picking view of the fund. So, Rich, one of the interesting things I saw looking at your portfolio was you've got Bayer, a German pharmaceutical company, in your top 10. Can you just explain your reason for holding that to us? The fund does have the option to go and invest overseas, and in particular in Europe, uh, when we don't like the alternatives in the UK. And looking at the, the, the fund, that, the index that we're trying to beat, the all share in the UK, two constituents, very large constituents, are Glaxo and AstraZeneca. Um, we look at the dividends there and sometimes we wonder whether they're sustainable given uh, the cash flow from those businesses and also both of them have asthma franchises where there's a big pushback against uh, US insurers. For that reason we don't think we'll get the 20% that we look for from individual names. For that reason we bought uh, Bayer where we do see the 20% and where we think there is a recovery potential from the agrochemical side that they've just bought in Monsanto. Okay, and uh, just this morning we've seen a, a few issues with around the German elections. Yeah. Um, does that factor into your process at all, or do you more focus on the stocks themselves? Yeah, it's very much a bottom-up fund. Mm -hmm. uh, we do clearly look at things like interest rates and the currency. Um, obviously, sterling has been weak against the euro. We tended to suffer from that, so if, if the euro is weaker, this can potentially marginally help us. But it, the fund is going to perform when the bottom-up stock picking uh, reasons uh, happen and they drive share prices. That's great Richard, well thank you very much for coming in and speaking to us. Thank you.